Oh, sir, you've got uh, Fidato and a northern singer competing in the first race, uh, 1,000 meters. Tell us uh, how their form is right now. Uh, you see, they came from Pune and they ran here in Bombay. The similar sort of a race, it was a 5 4 longs last time, too. And uh, I thought Fidato should have run a better race, but he seemed to have fizzled out in the last part, and Northern Singer gained on him. Today, uh, Northern Singer has been penalized for her victory that day, and whereas Fidato has uh, uh, come, uh, come up well on, on that last run. I think uh, both of them have to beat Nelson River. Both are in very good condition. Both can make a race out of it. Both have a decent chance. But uh, the horse to beat uh, Nelson River. So let's talk about uh, Zukor, who's always been very consistent. Uh, tell us uh, Zukor's form and uh, how do you think Zukor is going to perform uh, at the races tomorrow? Uh, Zukor, yeah, he's been quite consistent and uh, I think tomorrow also he should run a fair race. The handicap is uh, catching on to him and it is a tough set, but uh, I think he's a place prospect. Okay. Thank you. The first race I have a horse called Flying Hello. He, he bled in his last start in Pune, so I hope he doesn't bleed because it's the first race of the day and it's at 2 o'clock. He'll have a chance. Talk to us about Hawkin and tell us uh, you think uh, Hawkins going to make the board tomorrow. Um, Hawkins is giving weight all around. Um, I've, I've taken some weight off him, three and a half kg boy. And we're going to try our best to beat the others. Okay. Yeah. We move on to the second race. Uh, that I have son of a gun running there and uh, you have seen last time was a, a false start and it was a null and void race. He is running uh, with a slightly different field this time but in my personal opinion on handicap he comes out very well and uh, the two additional horses he is well placed against them. I like him. I've got two runners tomorrow. One is Baby Bazooka who's running in the class one race. She had a mild setback in Pune, so she's running after that. But she's worked all right. She could pull it off, though outside chance. I have uh, aerodynamic running the maidens uh, five along. Uh, a lot of horses are running for the first time. She's worked nicely and she's reasonably fit. Uh, she's shown a lot of maturity. Unfortunately, I'm drawn wide and, uh, you know, in a two-year-old race, a draw matters a lot. So I'm just hoping that, you know, I take a smart, she takes a smart jump and she runs a mature enough race to finish in the frame. The other one is a baby running for the first time in her career. So she may need the outing. In the third race, I've got my uh, two-year-old running field of dreams. She's one of the two in a field of 11 that's had the benefit of a run and she finished a very creditable second. Uh, she's worked well. She's a light frame filly, but I've managed to maintain her condition. I'm very happy with her. Uh, I think she should take all the beating. The danger in the race is uh, Pacey's filly, Jade. She's worked very well. Uh, she's, a, she's by multitude and from a top farm. And... Uh, Escanido from Wahid Stable has finished three, three and a half lengths behind me. She's the only other filly with a run. But I think my filly should take all the beating. In the fourth race, I have two runners, a horse called Tulia Pick, an old horse, and a horse filly called Geographic. She went on the last start in Pune. She had a tidy mark. And I think uh, that, there's a horse called Caesar's Son who's running bareback, he's at 46 kilos, <laughs> and then the Golden Kingdom, these two can be the dangers. I have Golden Kingdom running the class 2 9 furlongs. Um, he's well, he's uh, fit and he's feeling good. And he had a, he's been running consistently in Pune. I think he should put up a good show, but I suppose the horses to beat over there will be Geographic and uh, See the Sun. We're giving a lot of weight to them. I've uh, claimed two and a half off, but uh, still looks a little difficult to beat those two. Your next runner is Magneto, who has a tongue strap uh, on for the first time ever. You think um, having a tongue strap would uh, make a difference in his performance for Magneto? Magneto, uh, unfortunately, ran a poor race in his last start. And um, 
I, I have given him a bit of a time and uh, I think, yeah, the tongue strap should make a difference and he should run a much better race tomorrow. Let's hope for the best. Okay, tell us uh, more about Lion King, of course, a winner in um, last race day in Pune. Uh, you think he's going to repeat its winning streak here in Mumbai? Um, he's won on the last race day and he won well. His manner of victory was pretty impressive. Uh, he's kept up his condition. He's feeling well and, you know, he could repeat and I hope he does. So in the fifth race, uh, you've got Endurance and Star of Orion. Um, tell me how their form is and if there has been any equipment change yes. with regards to I put a tongue strap on Endurance because he's trying to play with the bit. And Star of Orion, she's had only one start in her career. Yeah. I removed the blinkers and I put a tongue strap and a ear plug on. In the sixth race, I've got Irish Gold running. Uh, there's uh, Mesara, who's won uh, three races of the trot in Pune of four Bazaars, and Generosity of uh, Pacey Shroffs. Uh, these are the two to beat. I'm giving them weight. Uh, the third horse is fighting, but my horse is a strong, big horse, and uh, I think he'll run well. I think he'll go close to winning. And uh, I've got Majestic Warrior running once again. This time, I think the field is m even stronger than the one he ran last time. I'll be surprised if he fin finishes well up. Last race, I have a in the sixth race, I have a field called Supreme Spirit. She won in Pune, and in this race, I have won two dangers. One is Generosity, and another field called Exotic Queen. Though I'm at a good mark, I think I should I should score. I have Into the Storm running the Class 3 6 flung. Uh, he's run consistently in Pune and uh, he's maintained his form. He's worked nicely. Uh, I'm running him with a higher class uh, and there are some, you know, sort of a nice nice bunch of horses. I think it's a very open race. Again, unfortunately, I'm drawn wide, but uh, the horse is well and the distance should not be a problem. I'm carrying bottom weight, so I expect him to run a big race. Your next two runners are Dowsabel and uh, Anushka, who both have been very, very consistent. Uh, tell us how they're working and uh, what are the chances for tomorrow? Uh, both of them have been very consistent all through Pune season. Uh, unfortunately, Anushka has got a very bad draw, drawn 13. So that may make a bit of a difference uh, in the running of her race. But still, I'm hopeful with the allowance on her. Okay. She should run a fair race. Dossable has been a bit unlucky. Uh, she's been knocking at the door. Um, uh, the age factor is there, but that's why I've, I'm running in a five years old and over race. So I hope she does it. Fingers crossed. Thank you. In the last race, I've got intense belief. She's been a bit of a disappointment in Pune. She won me two races in Bombay last season. I think she's more of a Bombay filly. She's well, she's worked well. She's come down to a mark because she was she's run five disappointing races in Pune. If she keeps up to her form, she'll go close. And in the last race, uh, I've got Charming Star, who's run a quite a decent race last time when I was least expecting him. I would suggest he would uh, should figure on board. And Zakapa has not been very consistent as yet. Let him put up a show, then we'll see.